Hey guys, Harrison Ring Ring here. Today I'm going to give you my thoughts on Demon Slayer to the Swordsmith Village. And uh, it is not a movie, it's a TV show special event crossover. So yeah, basically the movie story is... Um, yeah, so basically the movie story is this. It's, um, it's the final two episodes of the Entertainment District arc. And um, they played the first episode of the swordsmith village in theaters and probably with me seeing the final two episodes on the big screen probably with seeing episode 10 which i probably think that's one of my favorite episodes out of the entire entertainment district arc or probably the best episode out of the entire show because it's like every when i saw it on screen tv screen for the first time as of the small screen i feel like oh my god this has to be on a big screen when I heard they announced this, I think it was around December, I was like, what? Demon Slayer is getting a movie world tour? What? And then, like, seeing with Uzui fighting Gyutaro with all the animation effects, it's like, that's how it's cinema history or something. But would I count as a movie? No, but maybe as a TV crossover event. Maybe a TV movie event or something. But would I... But, I mean... But it's just like for a fun time or something. But, um, yeah. Anyways, anyways of me seeing 10 on screen, uh, it just felt perfect for a good view of movies. And with episode 11, that also felt the best of seeing it also on the screen. By with uh, great animation, good story, and great comedy, and great with a good, well-packed audience. I'm... That's usually all of that with the Entertainment District arcs. But I mean, with episode 11, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite episodes out of the arc. But, um, because, like, I know that's, the, like, the entire conclusion. And with, like, with the huge episodes, it's, like, a lot of awe-inspiredness. But as of for now, with the Swordsmith Village, I only want to review that episode. I don't mostly review episodes i just usually like review the entire series but i know i did a little bit on my hero academia with the first three episodes which how good they were i only want to give you my thoughts on just episode one of demon slayer to the swordsmith village because i mean it was literally a show of in a theater movie theater which was like the best screening experience i mean i'll probably do the same thing with the next episodes that return in april that could be the best thing ever so um yeah, so here's my thoughts on the first episode of the Swordsmith Village. I mean, to be honest with this, uh, with like seeing the first episode with great animation was like a huge fun time. I it wasn't really well action packed for the first episode. I mean, that's how usually first episodes of like a lot of anime shows are. Like it usually starts off with like an origin. But, like, Tanjiro, he'll probably fight more soon, like, in later for a few more episodes. But, yeah, with episode one, if it was just, like, a huge, one good, hell of a great time to experience it on a huge screen with great comedy, great characters with Misuri Kantro and Mochiro Tokito as of the Mist Hashira, which I actually have a cosplay of it. So, uh, yeah, you know what? Why don't I show you my sword? I'll be right back. Yep, this is the Muchirio Tokito sword. As of the Mist Hashira. It's not real, it's bamboo wood. A little bit paint scratch off, but it's not that bad. But yeah. Anyways, we're seeing that and Misuri Kanjuro Kanjori, I don't know how you pronounce that, was also awesome to see on the big screen. Probably with her being like a little adorable and stuff. I'd be like, oh lord. And with also the best thing to see all the, all the, the best thing is to see is um, all the entire upper ranks. Probably the upper rank, upper rank one is probably the most craziest with the six eyes. Shinobu, oh, something with Shinobu, but I forgot his name. And with Akasa, yeah, he's a well goat after he fight Rengoku, the best Hashira goat ever. And uh, probably with seeing the entire like upper ranks, it's like more crazier. But so yeah. Anyways, it's like 
Episode 1 is a great good start off to get ready for Swordsmith Village, which will return all the, enti the entire Demon Slayer series will return in April. But I probably can't wait to see more of Misui Kanjori. Kanjori and uh, Muchirio Tokito. I had a fun time of seeing the Swordsmith Village World Tour in theaters. And I can't wait to see like the next future of Demon Slayer. But I hope they would definitely do a movie if like Tantra fighted Akasa on the big screen. That would be like the best out of it all. Like it's like the best thing ever to experience it like that. So yeah. Anyways, I'm not gonna like grade I'm not gonna like grade this movie, but I could give the first episode like a four out of five. Nah, nah, scratch that. Make that a five out of five. Like it was just like a good start off to have it all that way. So yeah, see ya.